Hi, in this slide I want to make a case for uh, distribution chains or even standalone single locations to think about having, in a sense, two simultaneous or parallel sales forces. Sometimes uh, when you have uh, uh, or comp more complicated organization charts are called matrices. I'm not going to get caught up into it, but basically in a traditional organization, uh, we might have a CEO. Uh, if the company's big enough, we'll have a full-time vice president of sales marketing kind of person. Uh, if we have a number of branches, the branch managers may actually call on some accounts. Sometimes branch managers wear the sales management hat, or they're more sort of operationally driven, and the vice president of sales is over the salespeople, even though they're at a branch level. And around a branch, we'll have territory reps, uh, so they tend to, you know, cover geographies because that's the way we did things in the 60s and 70s with time and territory management. And the rep is sort of the one-stop shop, uh, be-all, do-all, face, face of the company to the customer. Uh, they're the ones who are going to figure out how to call and what to say and everything else. A lot, a lot of independent autonomy, autonomy there. And then, of course, inside salespeople are reactive agents. You know, call us any time. Now that we have wonderful ERP systems, we can give you an answer to anything you want. Of course, that's being eclipsed a little bit by 24-7, 365 uh, websites that allow customers to come in and find out whatever they want. Now, in parallel to this, we've found out that with customer profitability analytics and uh, new power laws that uh, preciously few customers give us enormous amounts of profit, preciously few gazelles could give us enormous future profits, and a handful of, of customers are destroying profits. So it gives rise to the, the hyper-focused effort on 555 kind of thinking. So if we call these, these key accounts or high leverage accounts, who is our vice president of service value chain solutions that's going to go out and call on these accounts, but who's, who's going to be there with, with the, uh, the VP both before setting up the summit meeting and after, because if the vice president goes out and does the big audit, sees lots of opportunities, says here are a lot of recommendations we can do, the, the sales rep on the account now has to become the project manager, if you will, to install and tune uh, all of these supply chain applications uh, or solutions. Um, now, beneath this, you know, I've got uh, sort of supporting kinds of measures. Um, we we need with with new reports like we'll look at in the the LIPA section that follows this one, and and putting salespeople on uh, the improvement the change delta in profit before interest and tax, so their incentive portion of their income comes from improving and growing the operating profit per customer as opposed to margin dollar margin percent which makes us really not even see and even abuse cost to serve. Uh, uh, part of the, the, the value equation. Uh, we are going to make sure that key inside salespeople, et cetera, go out and visit their counterparts, uh, home and home kind of selling to sort of Im improve the communication, the trust, et cetera, of the relationships. Uh, the, the count is, is so important that we're going to really, in a sense, have a brain trust. So maybe even the CEO, the VP of sales, the supply chain person, the service manager, the branch manager, anybody who's appropriate is going to know as much as they can about these key accounts and, and be directly or indirectly supporting um, growing the, the operating profit of these accounts. Uh, when we go out and find extra opportunities, where we get the, where the resources, the time, talent, treasure to go uh, upgrade uh, the, 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 the shelving in closets in a hospital. It's not in the budget for the local branch, so we have to have special funds and capabilities to make these follow up with these, these special opportunities. And we've talked in the past a little bit, touched on about how everybody at the, at the branch is going to know all these these key customers by heart and the answer is yes and heroic acts and so forth. So it doesn't mean that we might not still have some traditional reps calling in some traditional sort of accounts, but these, these key accounts have to be split out in a sense and handled in a very different way. So we really need two parallel systems and we have to figure out how to pull that off or, or transition to that. Thank you.